Welcome learners and friends. I'm Miss Lori and this is Wits Summer Learning Camp. Let's get started with our welcome song. Twinkle stars up and it goes a little something like this. Twinkle, twinkle, learning star, you're a special friend you are. Whether near or very far, a special friend to me you are. Twinkle, twinkle, learning star, a special friend to me you are. Oh, I love it. You are a special friend to me. And this is our last week together, which makes me a little bit sad, but it's a great time to review all we've learned all these books and letters and sounds we've explored together. Oh, how fantastic. You have been wonderful and you are almost ready for a great school year, I bet. All right, get your learning cap on. Boop. Got mine on, just like always. It's time to get started. Let's start our learning off today with a little letter hokey pokey. You put your G in, you put your G out, you put your G in and you shake it all about. You say the letter name, G, G, G. Then you put it down, A's turn. You put your A in, you put your A out, you put your A in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sounds, Ah, ah, ah. Then you put it down, D's turn. You put your D in, you put your D out, you put your D in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, D, D, D. Then you put it down, F's turn. You put your F in, you put your F out, you put your F in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, then you put it down, T's turn. You put your T in, you put your T out, you put your T in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, t t t Then you put it down, H's turn. You put your H in, you put your H out, you put your H in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, ha, ha, ha. Then you put it down, S's turn. You put your S in, you put your S out, you put your S in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, s then you put it down, B's turn. You put your B in, you put your B out, you put your B in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, b b b then you put it down, R's turn. You put your R in, you put your R out, you put your R in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, then you put it down, P's turn. You put your P in, put your P out, you put your P in and you shake it all about. You say this letter sound, P, P. Then you put it down, U's turn. You put your U in, you put your U out, you put your U in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, uh, uh, uh. Then you put it down, last one. You put your E in, you put your E out, you put your E in and you shake it all about. You say the letter sound, eh, eh, eh. Then you put them down. Boys and girls, kiss your brain. Mwah. You know all those letter names and sounds. Now it's time for our message. Okay friends, here's our message today. The message today doesn't have any missing parts, but there is something tricky about it. Something isn't quite right. But before we go and solve that little conundrum, that's like a little problem, let's read it together. I'll read it first and then you read it, okay? I hope you had your turn. I hope you had, I hope you repeated it, fun learning with Miss Lori. Your turn. Fun learning with Miss Lori. So the whole message is already written for us. I know that because there's a period there and the whole idea is spelled out. I hope you had fun with learning with me. The one thing that's kind of not quite right that needs to be fixed is this thing called capital letters. Can you say capital letters? Say capital letters. Capital letters are just the large letters. If you look at the letters T, for example, 
This is the capital, and that little one is the, is the lowercase. In the letter H, this one right here is the capital, and this one is the lowercase. One more example, in the letter S, this is capital, and this is lowercase. But I don't think I'm the best teacher of this. I think I should call my friend. Her name is the capital letter fairy, and everything she touches brrrp, turns to capital. Should I call her? Brrrp, capital letter fairy, we need you. Capital letter fairy, we need you. I hear her coming. Did someone call on the capital letter fairy? It's me. I'm here to save all the capital letters. Those lowercase letters don't do it. Not in the beginning of a sentence. <gasps> never. Not when the word I is by itself. Never, never, never. I must fix it. When you start a sentence, you must always have the capital. Oh, much better. That I has to be capital because it's a word by itself. I is always capital by herself. But most importantly, she's the beginning of a sentence, so she is always big. If she was a B, if she was an A, if she was an H, she is in the beginning of a sentence, so she is capital. Let's keep looking. Are there any more little letters that should not be there? Hmm, oh, I found one. This is the word Miss, as in Miss Lori. So it's a name. Hmm, hmm, it's actually a title before her name, and Miss is always capital, with a capital M. <gasps> boop, boop, boop. Much better. Miss, like Mrs. or Ms., always starts with a capital M. Always, always, always. Oh my goodness. And Lori, Lori is a name of a person. I heard she's the name of your teacher. Although she wrote this message, and this message is wrong because it needs capitals. Her name should always have a capital L like all names. All names have a capital L. Oh, now your sentence is perfect. You're welcome. Goodbye. Capital letter fairy, capital letter fairy. Oh, I'm sorry learners. I looked everywhere for her and I couldn't find the capital letter fairy, but uh, was she here? The capitals are all fixed. Oh, the capital letter fairy. I feel like she only likes to come out when kids are around, not us grown-ups. I wish I could have saw her magic, but this is pretty cool. She fixed our sentence. Cause now that I, which should always be capital cause it's a word and the beginning of a sentence is capital and my name and my missus is correct too. Oh, capital letter fairy, thank you so much. All right, readers, that's all we have for this for this summer camp today, together. Please make sure you have your parents or a grown up go to www.witchchicago.org to find many more lessons and games and activities for you to enjoy so you can become a better reader, a better writer, and get ready for kindergarten. All right. Until next time, adios amigos, adios, adios amigos, adios, adios amigos, adios amigos, adios amigos, adios. adios, amigos, adios.